to convert molecules to grams? Well, in order for us to convert molecules to grams, we must go through moles. To go from molecules to moles, we will divide the number of molecules by the Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole, and that will give us moles. And in order to go from moles to grams, we will multiply the number of moles by the molar mass, which is found from the periodic table, and we can easily get grams. Now, if we want to go the other way around, if we want to go from grams to molecules, we do the opposite. So to go from grams to, we first must go from grams to moles by dividing our number of grams by the molar mass. And then we will go from moles to molecules by multiplying our number of moles by the Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole. Whenever we're converting from one unit to another, we always want to cancel the units that we have and put the units that we want to have on top. Let's go ahead and do this example and see how we can use this little chart effectively. How many grams of water are in 15 times 10 to the 7 molecules is the example I'm giving you. We always start by writing what we have, and what we have is 15 times 10 to the 7 molecules of water. Molecules of water. We must always put the units so that we never make a mistake. Now, I can use my chart and I can see that to go between molecules and grams, I must go through moles. And in order to go to mo through moles, I must use the Avogadro's number. Let's see it in terms of units. I have molecules here, so I want to cancel molecules. I put molecules on the bottom, molecules, water. And on top, I'm going to put what I want to get, which is moles. So I'm going to put moles, water on top. According to my chart, conversion between molecules and moles is using Avogadro's number. There is 6.022 times 10 to the 23, 23 molecules in one mole. When I do that, please notice that my molecules of water will cancel and I get moles of water, which is what I wanted to get, but I'm not there yet. I actually wanted to get grams. Now that I have moles of water, I will go ahead and convert it to the grams. How do I do that? Well, the units I want to cancel go on the bottom, moles, water. And the unit I want to get goes on top, which is grams of water. Again, as when we look at my chart, we see that to go from moles to grams, I need to multiply by the molar mass, which is taken from the periodic table. The molar mass for water is around 18 grams per mole. I rounded a lot, so if your teacher does not want you to round, make sure you use all of the numbers, all of the decimal places, but I'm just showing it to you as an example. This molar mass means that for one mole of water, I have 18 grams. Again, we can see that my moles of water will cancel and I get what I wanted to get, which is grams of water. When I plug it into my calculator, I will put all these numbers in parentheses so the calculator will understand me correctly. I will write 15 times 10 to the 7 divided by Avogadro's number, which I will have to put in parentheses and multiply it by 18 to give me my answer. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you soon in my next chemistry video.